today having witnessed the most extraordinary and breathtaking events that took place last year in Eritrea and the Horn of Africa, and that Yanani Gabreb so poignantly talked about. Today, you, the youth, in this era of nation building and of peace and development, have a real responsibility on your young shoulders to ensure that you're ready to take on this mantle for your country when the time comes, including the need to redress the injustice of hostile, fake media news and the war, a campaign on Eritrean development, that entities, external entities with agendas of destabilizing Eritrea have. To redress this injustice, you as young warriors have to deploy powerful weapons. And those weapons are truth, facts, integrity, your history, your community, the ground reality. And, and your vision, Eritrea's vision. This is important because Eritrea really has so many good stories to tell. Eritrea has changed me as a person. I'm passionate. I'm passionate about Eritrea's development. I'm moved uh, by by, by what Eritreans stand for, your honesty, your integrity, your community, your justice, your simplicity, I'm moved by it. And it's, made, it's a call to me to change my life. So how am I, it's made me reflect on me. Where am I and what am I doing? We need diversity of thought in the global system to address the complex world problems that we're facing. We need Eritrean voices. We need the Eritrean youth voices. The problems of global overpopulation, fresh water depletion, famine, food security, poverty. We live in a world where there's acute poverty and destitution, which coexists with extreme wealth. There's climate change what we're doing to our planet, our oceans. So we really need you, the youth, the future, to educate yourself on innovative ways and technology for sustainable development and in Eritrea. To ensure clean air, microfinance, alternative energy, green buildings and cars, sustainable development. And as Yumani Gabreb said, Eritrea has to have economic success, but it must flourish and it must be beautiful. So in your nation building with the government of Eritrea, in this quest, you will need to look at the best of sustainable and holistic systems to ensure that Eritrea is seen as a guiding light for the rest of the world on innovation and sustainable development leaving no one behind. This, the government has done in its extraordinary work with the Millennium Development Goals and now the Sustainable Development Goals, which is actually the proper lens to look at fair, just, and honest approach to human rights. So in conclusion, Eritrea has an extraordinary potential of leading the world as a model country, utilizing the very skills of your forefathers in the trenches, of faithful stewardship, community, resilience, equality, sustainability, integrity, ethics. You are at the cusp of an extraordinary new beginning for Eritrea. So really Godspeed and Awit Nahatash. Ugu <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>